What's going on, Lucy Budgie Team? Welcome back to another episode of South Stand Stories, and I can not believe it. Leeds nil. Stoke one. How? 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 Did we throw that game away? That game was in the palm of our hands. In the palm of our hands. And we threw it away. Flushed it down the toilet. Sunk it down the bin. Sunk it down the bin. You should be sinking it down the toilet. I'll tell you what we should have been doing. is sinking our chances into the back of that net. Patrick Bamford. I spent 70 minutes of the game. Waxing lyrical about you. Saying get on the pitch. Get on the pitch. Get on the pitch. It gets on the pitch. Within four minutes. Beautiful run. Great ball by Rutter. He gets a penalty. And he skies it. He skies it into Rose Ed and he skies my credibility into Rose Ed with it. You don't understand. Yeah. The whole time I was saying, listen, look, Rutter is gonna be a different player once you put Bamford up front. Once you give someone uh once you put someone else further forward, you allow Rutter to, to drop further deep, you allow him to, to link up the play, to do those kind of things, to drive forward, to have space. He's gonna be a different player. We did it. Within four minutes, you're seeing it. Rutter. Three or four times he picks up the ball, drives past two players, plays it into Banfield, plays it into Dan James, plays it into Somerville. Different gravy. So I run into the other room when we get that penalty. I'm waxing lyrical to my dad. I'm like, hey, this is what I told you. What I tell you about Rutter and Banfield. What I tell you, what I tell you, what I tell you. And he said, hey, hey, you donkey, get in there. All right? Let him take the penalty before you do anything. What are you doing? Give him the chance to take the penalty first. So I was like, all right, all right, come to the other room. And what happens? He's right. Bamford goes and flipping skies the penalty. He skies the penalty. Man, I, yeah, I'm not going out there. All right. My hair is not wet. All right. It's pretty dry. If I go out there, I'm going to get some Sir Alex Ferguson hair dry treatment for coming over and, and screaming like I did before we even took the penalty. All right. I'm going to get all kinds of hair dry treatment. I ain't going out there. I'm staying in here. Locked in the entire night. All right, I've got a toilet here. I've got water. I don't have the food that I was going to eat later, but forget that. I'll starve until everyone goes to bed. All right, I know I'm going to get hair dry treatment, and deservedly so, because I screwed it. You know, anyone that was in the stream with me saw exactly what happened. You know, if you don't watch back the, the watch along and go to the 70th minute mark where we got the penalty, it was limbs. We were all going crazy. We were having a party. We were popping champagne. We were eating popcorn. We were doing everything. All right, we were having a great time. And um, unfortunately, within the space of three minutes, we miss a penalty and score an own goal. Typical Leeds United, typical Leeds United. But you know who I blame even more than I blame Patrick Bamford? I blame the manager. I blame Falk. Listen. Why do you wait until the 70th minute to make a change? We can all see it. It's not working with Perot. You need someone further forward. I said it to everyone. All right. Anyone can see it. You watch back that game, you see as well. When Rutter has Bamford playing in front of him, when he has a striker who can run the line, he can run the channels, who can suck defenders back, and it allows Rutter to play deeper, he is 10 times the player he is. Even before that, he was our best player, yeah? But once you have that player in front of him that allows Rutter to sit deeper, to drive forward with the ball, to take players on, to spray the balls that he loves to play, he is 10 times the player. And within the space of three minutes, you saw it. You saw a different animal. He was tracking back 30, 40 yards, winning the ball, spinning a man, playing a 1-2, driving the ball forward. He was winning the ball in the middle. Touching it round one, two, three. Little bit of skill. Draws the defender in. Flicks the ball with the outside of his foot to Bamford. Rutter is a different animal when you have a striker in front of him who can press, who can hold up the ball, who can suck players around them. It's so much more effective. So much more. Why do you not try that in the 45th minute? Why do you not drip feed players in? Why do you not see, oh, it's not working with Jaden Anthony. Let me bring Somerville in early. Why do, why do I not bring Somerville in the 55th minute? Yeah? Paveda came on with 5-10 minutes to go. He did more than in 5 minutes than Jaden Anthony did in 60-70. Why are you waiting so long to make these decisions? That's what I'm not understanding. Why do you wait until the 70th minute and try and bring three, three on at the same time and just completely shock them? 
Why do you not drip feed these players in? Say, oh, it's not working with Perard there. Let me drop Rutter deeper into the tent. Let me put Bamford up front. Let me see if the, how that works for five to ten minutes. Oh, Jaden Anthony's still not getting into the game somehow, despite the fact that, you know, Bamford is creating space up front and Rutter's able to, to play the balls to him more. Okay, let's take him off for Somerville. Oh, 75th minute. Nonto's getting a little bit tired now. All right. Now let's take him off for Dan James. See if he can stretch him with his legs and his pace. No, you wait until it's too little, too late. You don't give him enough time to do that. And when you do that, yeah, it worked. You know what? Bamford scores his penalty. He looks like a tactical genius. Okay? But these are the fine margins of football. He didn't score his penalty. So now the blame has to be put on you for not making that decision earlier. For giving us five... 10, 15, 20 minutes to do these things. You should have given us more time to make a change with that. Because if you make one cock up like you do with Bamford, guess what? There's 15 minutes left of the game. And all it takes is one little mistake like we had with a stupid corner. Bounces off the crossbar. Bounces off the side of Stroik's head when he's not even looking. And we score an own goal. That's all it takes when you leave it so late to change things up. We could see it wasn't working before that. We could see it. Ray Charles could see it. Stevie Wonder could see it. Anybody could see it. That it wasn't working before with the way we had it. But yet, we wait too little, too late to make those changes. And what do you do? You get costed by it. And you, you, you screw up. An easy win against Stoke. Stoke. Ipswich won today. Leicester won yesterday. We're now what? 10 points behind Ipswich, is it? 8 points, 7 points? And they have a game in hand. We're eight points behind them. And they've got a game in hand. It's poor. It's poor. It's so poor. For this point in the season. To be potentially 11 points off. The automatic promotion zone. It's not good enough. This early on. Really not good enough. We've given away too many stupid games. That we shouldn't have given away. And today was the tip of the iceberg. That was the worst one we could have done. Gruer for me wasn't great at all in the midfield. He looked pretty average. It's a big chance for him today. Jaden Anthony, like I said, unfortunately, I hope things come good for him. But unfortunately, he hasn't done even much more than I think Paveda has this year. If I'm being honest with you, he's had 10 times the minutes that Paveda has. You know, he's definitely not a patch on Sinistera, that's for sure. Somerville, we can see how much we need him. Bamford, listen, look, he missed a penalty. Fucking just take him off the penalties. All right, take him off the penalties. But otherwise, he needs to start. He needs to play. Because even after that, he created a good chance for Somerville. He needs to start, man. Uh, he fucking missed. He don't just take him off penalties. All right, put Somerville on the penalty. Put, just put Somerville on the penalty. Take Bamford off it, and just start him up front. If you get a penalty, leave it. Give it to someone else. You know that's why we needed Mateus Klitsch in there to take it. Um, who could, we could really do it right now in that ten roll instead of Rutter uh, instead of Perot. I'll tell you that for nothing. Um, but yeah. Fucking stupid penalty. Embarrassing, but he needs to start. Let me know what you guys think anyway about the team. Who do you guys think played well, didn't play well? Thought Archie Gray was okay at moments, but you can see he's in his inexperience starting to show it right back at times there. I thought Stroik was very good, played very well until that goal that he conceded. Uh, I actually thought Roden was actually right today as well. Um, Byron made a couple of mistakes, otherwise he was decent. And Purdue, not his best game, but the better of the two in the midfield for sure. Um, and Rutter for me I thought was sensational throughout the game again sensational uh, but let me know you guys thought anyway who do you guys think the best player was and do you think I'm right about this whole waiting so long to make a decision let me know what you guys think down in the conversation down below but for now guys I will see you very soon out of what my brothers and my sisters